My friend, the classic, uh, classical philologist and art critic Thomas McEvilly once described me as a postmodern artist in my visual language, but with an idealism of a modernist. As a member of a refugee family from Karachi, partition and the forming of the Republic of India were the worst of times. And these were the best of times too. For the victims of partition, the questions were how to move on, how to live under these new circumstances. The only way was to seek a sense of solace, find a new sense of community and communal harmony. The world's cultures form a compendium of images which can be melded in the crucible of the narrative. And in contrast to the other Indian male artists who went abroad for making an international career, I saw a future in India. Bringing back my ideas of Paris, I hoped as an artist to contribute to the building up of a new nation. The dominant, exclusively positive role of memory must no doubt be questioned today. Memory as a function of political reaction, false memory in, for, in fake news, privileging the past over the future. And I do believe this is a function of art itself. As in theater, it is an ephemeral moment and you retain a memory which is never exact, but bring, brings forth new combinations. This mingles with your own experiences and bundles of thoughts and then becomes a creative moment. But we must still think about the future today and not give up on pertinent goals such as justice, equality, freedom. It is important to pay attention to the contribution that the arts and the humanities make to transnational memory, whose role it is to train the imagination and how to live in an ever more connected world.